Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is Hendu Jr. And that is not what I wanted to do. Um and this is a continuation of our fire Pokemon Fire Challenge run. Uh, if you guys enjoy this, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff, and let's go ahead and hop right in. So, I just about left this place without getting the two shadows that are here. They're not exactly the type that I need, but it's better to have some backups just in case. So I'm going to go and try and grab these real quick. Don't mind me, I'm probably going to be eating because I just got back from work and I don't have time for myself anymore. Hey, Meryl. Alright, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Flareon has a high physical, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Yes, high physical, high special defense. So, <laughs> let's do Hyper Voice and Shadow Stealth. Bye, Pidgey. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna keep using Hyper Voice and I'm gonna start throwing balls. Uh, I don't have a whole lot. Do I really wanna start throwing them now? I don't think so. Uh. I think both of them should be able to take it out. Yeah, that helps. And Hyper Voice. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna start throwing balls now. not. Cause that's my fucking luck. It could have been a 99% catch rate at full health and I would have failed. I can almost guarantee that. Cause screw me and my low amount of freaking pulling balls. Get in the damn ball. You sack of shit. There we go. That's better. back and heal. I will see you guys when I get back. Alright, now that we're back. Get a few chests and another shadow here. Again, not the type that I'm looking for, but I will take what I can get. Like I said, there's plenty 
of shadow mons to get a hold of, so the more shadows the better. At the very least they'll be good backups until I get a full team of fire types, which might be a while. Oh wait a minute, there was a chest down there, wasn't it? No. Okay. I'm just losing my mind. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. TM-52? What was that again? Substitute! Not the best move in the world. Eh, I mean, it's okay if you're used to playing uh, dodge and evade tactics, but I'm... Or if you have a mom that's just that brittle. But I don't usually bother with it. Alright, right, give me your shadow. Should be able to do one more, and then I can throw a Pokeball at it. Aha! can't see this failing, but I have seen this fail. So. Yay. Alrighty then. So now I have a crap ton of shadows. Yeah, Puccino is on one point of health. That is as close as that gets. Alright. So Zigzagoon didn't pick anything up. <clears throat> pick up is busted, but you you have to have the luck. Or power it open or overpower it with numbers. Which I can't really do in this game, so. Alright. There we go. Now we can get out of here. Head back to the. HQ. Crane that 
that I'm never gonna read. Alright. And I think it's this way I want to go. And up we go. Alright. get to go to a gate, which is the place that will purify the Shadow Mon. Not the thing I really want to be doing, but I don't really have much of a choice. The game won't let me continue until I at least purify one Shadow Mon. And unfortunately, I think Talo is my best bet. It's not... Hmm... <laughs> uh, Meryl would be a good choice. I kind of want to keep Taylor for a little while. Taylor's a pretty busted mon to have, so... Let's hop over to a gate real quick. Get this chest real quick. Ooh, a bright powder. Okay. Hold item that casts a glare to reduce accuracy. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. All right. With that, I'm gonna call this episode good. Or. Now, you know what? I can I can try and push it just a little longer. Milk some of these guys for some experience. That's a Voltorb, that's not nice. Mm, let's do Bite on Ghastly. Mm. What's Meryl got for an ability? Or is that hidden? Huge power. Alright. Hell yeah. Wait. What was its nature? I, I wasn't paying attention. Party, so no, no difference. Okay. Alright. Let's Aqua Jet that Volt Warp. Rude attacking my... Jeez. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh. Psh. Bye. 
I honestly consider myself very lucky that I didn't get paralyzed. Because I'm assuming he sparked me twice. Between the two sparks and the lick, there should have been at least a fair chance of uh, paralyzing my Umbreon. Or Flareon. My bad. Sorry, I'm used to running either Umbreon or Espeon. Those are my favorite of the evolutions, so... I tend to forget sometimes. Alright. That'll be the end here. I don't want to go too much longer. So, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!